So this may look familiar from a previous video. We're at the Crystal Cove Trailhead here at the Crystal State Park. Uh, and then you got the mullet fishing hole and uh, we got another video here a while back and I wanted to do the seven mile loop, but look. I mean, you can see it's been raining and uh, so it's gonna be really wet. But we're outfitted for it, but I just don't think that you're going to get around that seven mile loop. I could be wrong, but I want to do this Crystal Cove trailhead first, and then uh, we may just go a ways down in there on the seven mile loop and just see what it looks like. Uh, I just, uh, I, but we're outfitted this time. I got the, uh, the hiking equipment. I got the long pants. I got the boot blouses. I got the hiking shoes. We got the merino wool shirt. We are good to go. Let's get into the video. Well, we've been here before and the flies are already buzzing me. So I got the bug netting in the car and the blue backpack. I'm gonna go a ways up here before I put the bug netting on. So, uh, but I wanted to show you this is called the Crystal Cove Trail. It's only a 1.7 mile hike. Uh, but look, at told you we trashed this car. We, this, we're just getting started on the 3,000 mile journey. I mean, look at this parking lot. I already hit a rock on the way in. That road was in bad shape. Uh, you can look over here at this SUV. I mean, he, look at all the dirt on the side of that thing. But, uh, and there's the, uh, the boat ramp down there. So like I said, we've been here before. So let's, uh, let's just get going on the trail. We got the walking stick here and I got the water supply. We are good to go. I don't know if we got this on the video last time, but this is what we're hiking next to. Beautiful uh, part of the, the river here. And uh, anyway, the bugs are unbelievable. I've already got the, uh, the bug netting on. And uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. You know, do, do you find these signs <laughs> as stupid as I do? <laughs> It's kind of like, you know, when you go in and the floor is slippery, you know, but, uh, okay, uh, you know, so don't feed the alligators and uh, try not to get near them, but we're going to come down and just get another view of the, uh, the lake here, and we'll talk about a couple of things, so, isn't that beautiful? This is why you come out hiking, people. Life don't get no better than this. But on that note, let's just uh, talk about things for just a second. Uh, the first thing that happened was the uh, the zipper on the bug netting. This is why you do trial runs before you go on a big 3,000 mile trip. The zipper on the bug netting wouldn't work. I'm gonna have to get home. Uh, I finally got it uh, to, to work, but um, I may have to replace the zipper on this bug netting before I get on the road. Now I've got another set of bug netting, so it's not that big a deal for me, but uh, uh, maybe I'll take care of that after the trip, but that, that would be something that you definitely want to know <laughs> before, you, before you go camping in, in the summertime. Now, what, the other thing I just wanted to say was, would I be here hiking this trail? Uh, normally, no. No, I, I don't like being out here with the bug netting and the hiking pants and the, the merino wool shirt. And, you know, I mean, it's okay. I, I don't mind it that much. But it's just so doggone much preparation. And uh, so we already had one equipment malfunction with the zipper. Um, so now, what was the second thing? I forgot my doggone gloves. And believe me, when the bugs are bad, they'll bite on your hands. Uh, like I said, I'm all protected on the upper body with the bug netting because I, you know, because you do want a short sleeve shirt on. I mean, it's hotter than hell out here. That's why I said, would I be here hiking this if I hadn't had to come down and take care of the title? on my car oh hell no <laughs> i wouldn't be down here hiking this i'd be doing something like the ocala river where the in central florida it's, it's not as muggy and uh and buggy as it is down here on the coast but uh, and you can see you know look at the, the trail maintenance here no telling if i'm picking up ticks or or who knows you know but uh, i'm determined to get a hike in today because if i'm going to drive an hour and a half you doggone right, I'm gonna get out here and do something. So, but that's uh, that's the river. That's beautiful. So we'll uh, we'll get some more video here in a bit. Uh, we made it this far last time before the flies chased me off, 
And uh, and why, you know, you say, well, Kirk, why didn't you have your uh, your uh, bog netting and everything the first time? Well, that's when I was picking up the car, you know, <laughs> and I had to meet the guy in, in Vernus. So I couldn't very well, I mean, I guess I could have brought a backpack, but I really wasn't, and hell, I didn't even know if I could find these trails on the first trip. So uh, this is the second trip. I already got a bug biting on my ear. I may have to put the head net on. Boy, I hate hiking with that head net. But uh, the flies are already out. All right, let's keep on going. This is what I'm talking about. You got the flies buzzing. Now we're getting, that's why the hikers are on. You know, if you just had tennis shoes on, you're gonna have a hard time getting through stuff like this. So look at the bugs. Holy moly. I am gonna have to put the head net on. They're all over me. It's uh, absolutely insane. But uh, I'll get the head net out here in just a minute. I'm hoping to get to a spot where they're not quite so bad. Just got bit on the face. Boy, I tell you, this is a rough, rough time of the year to be hiking these trails down here at Crystal River. See, I'm in the sunlight, so that'll give me just a, a second of reprieve. Look at all the bugs. I gotta put the head net on. Here, we've come to a fork in the trail. I got the head net on now. Nice touch to have the bench. Wouldn't want to be there this time of the year. So you got the arrow pointing that the trail goes this way. We might hike down this way when we come back, but you can see all the water. That's going to be tough going on this trail. So let's get this on the video. You wouldn't want to be hiking this without the proper gear. You know, this reminds me of Isle Royal when I tried to do that one time in my life in July. Don't ever go to Isle Royal in July. That's an island up in Lake Superior if you didn't know. It's a virgin forest. But you can see why the bugs are so bad. Just got bit on the hand. See what the what the lack of gloves is doing for me. But I'm basically hiking through a swamp. And that's what this is. Uh, I'll have to pull the hands back into the bug netting, having forgotten the gloves. You know, it's hard to prepare for everything. And that's why you always have a checklist. Now you can see the, the arrow right here is pointing this direction. But you could go this way, but that looks pretty swampy. Well, the whole thing's a swamp. But, uh... Yeah, absolutely crazy. I haven't seen bugs this bad since I did Marshall Swamp. Uh, and that, I don't even, no, that wasn't even this bad. I've never seen, because I guess uh, being here next to the river and on the coast, it's just, uh, it's horrendous. All right. Looking out into a different look here. Kind of looks prehistoric, doesn't it? All those trees over there in the swamp. But uh, this is why you hike, you know, if you didn't have the, if it was a different time of the year, this would be an absolutely gorgeous trail. I mean, even this time of the year, it's not bad. I mean, I'm not worried about snakes. I would kind of keep an eye for gators on the side here. But, because uh, they could come up on either side. But uh, other than that, I don't, I highly recommend this trail. Just uh, <laughs> make sure you're properly outfitted. Don't do, don't be stupid like me. So we're coming up to a, a little turn here it says river overlook got to get through the mud here so we'll try to get out and get that uh you know i just wanted to, to I always love to tell stories you know having having a day like this it reminds me of the one time uh, we camped in canada and i mean the bugs were just like this I, I, actually the black flies were even worse i think and that was my first introduction to bug netting and i remember i just felt invincible because <laughs> i rode right through the swamp and uh, they were all over me you know but they couldn't get at you through the uh the bug netting and i you know i can see them on my face on the side so we'll wait till we get to that overlook because i'm not sure if i took the right turn these paths are winding around all over the place so well we got it it's going this way we'll, let's see if we can get to it we're right next to the river but I can't believe <laughs> I'm on the right trail. There's the river right there. But, uh, well, this is the kind of a trail that goes by right by the river here. We are definitely off trail at this point. <laughs> Holy moly. I just wanted to get to that overlook. Maybe we took a wrong turn. We'll, we'll go on up here a ways. And there you go. You can kind of see the river from here. All right. Check this out. Oh, you, you missed it. They were... They were fighting or just mating just a second ago. Look at the size of those grasshoppers. You see those occasionally here in Florida. They're moving on me. 
man, a lot of, a lot of lizards. And I think, well, I'm seeing something over here to the right. So looks like kind of like a trail. All right, we'll head on over, see if we can get to that overlook. Before we get this on the video, I'm not sure if this is the overlook or not, but yeah, you see these quite often on the, on the rivers around here, the jet skis, but you know, half the fun of riding those things is getting aggressive and going over on them. But I don't think I want to go over into the water and gator infested waters, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so, so, but I guess if you know, if you just want to stay upright and ride them, I guess it's it's cheaper than a boat. Uh, anyway, we're just kind of hiking along the river. I don't even know if I'm on the trail or what. We'll hike around back here for a couple hours. I, it's hotter than hell, man. I, I swear, I I got a huge bottle of water in the backpack. So if you are going to come down here in the, in the, in uh, August and, and try to hike a trail that's got about a gazillion flies and uh, you know, it's 100 degrees, uh, you know, feel free anytime you want. Like I said, I wouldn't be here if I hadn't had to go to the car dealer. But I was determined I wanted to check out that trail. So, and it looks like it's got a lot of side offshoots. So you could spend a day just in here. You don't have to do that seven mile hike. Although I think that seven mile hike, it's supposed to be astounding. I just can't believe with all the rain that we've had that you could get all the way around it. Uh, that's why I came here to do this trail. All right, so we'll we'll cut off there for video, unless I see something really. Oh, good lord! Check that thing out. Wow, that's a that's a crab. Holy moly! I almost stepped on him. Wow. At least we're getting to see. Check him out up close. Hopefully, I'm getting him on the video. Boy, he's looking up at me. I don't want to bother him too much. All right. Woo! That was cool. To be two videos, but just seeing some really cool stuff. That's, what a great trail to do when the weather's good. Holy moly. And this, look at this little tunnel. You know, one thing I hadn't thought about <laughs> since I'm off trail. I don't know where the hell I'm at. So finding my way back. And did I bring a compass? And I've talked about that in the past. No, I did not bring a doggone compass. How stupid can you be? How stupid can you be? But uh, isn't this cool, though? This is... If we can ever find our way back to the trail... <laughs> maybe. But I'm going to go on... A, about another half an hour this way and uh, and then we'll turn around and head back because it looks like this trail is just going to go along the river forever and I wanted to see that other trail. Boy these roots are tough to hike over. Look at them. You know you got to kind of watch where you're putting your feet. Here's a good view of the river. Oh man this heart rate's up because of the heat and just hiking along here which is good. That's what the doc says I got to do. Well, I'm definitely wasn't on, the, I'm on a trail because there's a bench and I'm going to sit and get some water here. But you can kind of see why we're seeing so many boats. There's a marina right over here. Doesn't look like there's many boats in there. And then the river's kind of going on. But check it out. Look at these places on the river. Holy moly. That's, that's some money right there, isn't it? And let's just swing around and we'll get over here and take a look at this. See, there's a, there's a pontoon boat right out there. You can see him. Almost looks like he's going through the grass, doesn't it? Look at these places over here. Holy moly. That's some serious money right there. Hell, even that marina. Can't even imagine how much that cost. All right, people. We got to head back. We'll go back this way once I get some water. So I'm on the way back. But there's the river, but check this out. I didn't get this on the way out. Look at these rocks. Isn't that cool? Just kind of hike beside them here. Can you imagine how many years it took for that river to carve out those rocks right there? I just didn't. I, I was kind of just trying to get, get going without taking so much video. But since I'm on the way back, I just thought I'd get that. That is cool. Man, can you see these flies? <laughs> Unbelievable. I just thought I'd get this like, real quick on the video. So when we came in, this is the, to get to the river overlook. I guess they were talking about that bench where I got some water. I went this way, and that took us on that crazy trail by the river. I got to get moving. Holy moly, flies are... Anytime you stop, even with the bug netting. You know, a couple things I did want to point out. Good news with the bug netting is when you get a face full of spider... 
<laughs> it's not like they're on your face so okay so we're back to what I think is the, the main trail it says uh, 0.5 miles maybe is that where we are or what's left so anyway we went left here there's a bench here you see the arrow pointing not sure what that means it just says what well here it just says river overlook so and then we came from this direction so this is just for people that want to do this trail you know two things I did think about was the, the last time I did something incredibly stupid like this was a Marshall swamp of course there I had a full a full backpack on but I had to bug net in and everything much the same conditions hotter than hell you know uh, but I had <laughs> I might have just I might have just set my trip back another week because I had heat rash so bad from that hike that it took me a week to recover I don't think you know I, I'm hoping this won't be that bad I I'm feeling my chest kind of itching because it indicates to me I'm getting a heat rash unfortunately so it uh, could be this isn't a trail I don't know you can see it's uh Oh, by the way, I did see a snake back there. That was pretty cool. Uh, you know, he, if you just give him a chance, just don't step on him. <laughs> you know, he's, he just scurried away. Everybody's afraid of snakes. You don't want to get bit. And he would, they could get through these pants. I don't have my snake leggings on because I didn't think I'd need them. And so far, I haven't. As long as you can see where you're putting your feet, you know, you're pretty safe. But you can see it's kind of getting grown up. They haven't been back here maintaining it per se. I mean, it's not bad. I... I've certainly hiked a lot more difficult than this. All right, let's keep keep going. I'm hoping it's just 0.5. There's another grasshopper, see him? Check him out. Boy, those things are huge. So anyway, uh, well, we can see a tree down up here. Boy, I, when I get back to the car, well, a couple things that I just want to talk about real quick. One is, because that's an electric car, I can just sit and idle that engine with the air conditioning on. I got a banana in there. And uh, I'm going to enjoy that. We might be coming to the end of this. Yeah, I think this is it. I'm not going to. I'm not going to go any further. Let's take it on back. I'll get that banana out. Drink a lot of water. And uh, you know, I don't see any reason to. Well, what the hell? It kind of looks like it goes up into the woods there, but I don't know. Ah. Let's just take a quick look. I don't think this is a trail at all. So this is this is not a trail. It's just kind of people have come up in here probably a bit and just hiked along in here a little ways. Yeah, this would be uh this would get crazy. Alright, that's it turning around. It occurred to me that I hadn't gotten a selfie on this uh, particular hike, but I thought you might want to see how I'm outfitted. <laughs> I can't wait. See, sometimes, I tell you, I don't really watch my videos that much, but this video I have to watch for multiple reasons. One, I got to see what this looks like right here. And then the other one is because I got this head net on, it really limits the visibility. Not too bad. I mean, you can see pretty good. But uh, I can't wait to see it, you know, in, 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 uh, on, the, on the big screen just to see what this hike looked like. So anyway, I just thought you'd... You could be entertained looking at what I look like. Look at the sweat. I hope you can see the sweat on my face. Holy moly. So, crazy hike today. I, we'll try to get down that uh, seven mile road. You know, hitting that rock on the way in, that kind of kind of scared me with the new car, but it you know, wasn't too bad. So if that road gets too bad on the, on the seven mile road, probably I uh, won't go down in there. Uh, and I don't want to hike down. I got, I'm a, I know one thing, I'm going to have to sit in the air conditioning and hydrate and eat that banana before I do anything. And I'm looking forward to that. Alright man, peace out. Alright, when we came in, we came through here and we went down the left fork here. I'm going to try to get a ways down here. I can see it's pretty wet. Boy, it flies or something else. You know, another thing I wanted to add to the video was... Uh, you know, when I get back, and that's another reason you don't want to be type of hiking this time of the year or in this heat, or you know, is uh, I'm going to have to strip out of everything. Hopefully there won't be anybody in the parking lot. And i got to check it for wood ticks and uh, any bugs crawling on me. Hell, there might even be some spiders crawling on me for all I know. I went through 
some cobwebs because uh, I couldn't see them with this head net on. But uh, we'll just go down here a ways. I'm really, uh, really feeling it, you know, because the heat's getting to me. So it's just, uh, it's just not worth the hike at this point. But uh, I do want to see it, and I'm hoping we'll get all this in. Um, but you can see there's just more of the same here. Looks like we're just almost going down a road. Uh, we'll see what happens here. Well, that's what it's doing. There it is. It looks looks like it's just going to connect right back to the road up here. And that's the road into the park. Okay. So we've done the whole trail. That's good. I'll go on up there and be sure. We'll, we'll get a little bit, a little clip up there. Glad I glad I hiked up here because we can get uh, get this on the video. Okay. So this is a this is the Crystal Cove Trail. There's the lookout where we were. Uh, you can see it just kind of loops in. This is the parking area that I went to. But you don't have to get your car filthy like I did. I didn't know that. You could park uh, right here. Oh no, maybe this is this is probably where I parked right here. This is it. Okay, that's where I parked there. So you could park right here. I'll show you what this looks like. See, it says Crystal Cove Trail on the sign. Look at that rock, pretty cool. But here's a little parking area. So you could just come down the paved road here and uh, and just park right here. So here's the here's the road into the park. So there's a car. And uh, this is kind of the parking area. Nice to have a bench there. Shows the hiking trail. So you know what? Rather than hike back on the trail, I'm going to go back on the road because then I can take this uh, head net off for a while. And I want to show you the, the, the road going into the, uh, the parking area where I hit that rock. All right, so this should look familiar. This is where I went in. There's a sign that we pointed out to the trail. And then right down here, Maybe a quarter mile is the other parking lot, and so if you got a car like I do, there was no need for me to come in here and just trash the car and hit that rock. But we'll go on down this road. Hopefully I won't have to put the bug netting on. But it is a pretty swampy road, and we'll get some video of the road. It, it is a cool road to travel. I mean, if you got an SUV or pickup truck, you know, this is, and it's not too bad in a car. You're just going to have to take it nice and slow and uh, try not to hit the, you see the, see the big stuff up here? Because I... That's unfortunate with that Prius because it sits so low to the ground, you know. Um, it's got its advantages and disadvantages. It's like everything else in life. But uh, this is kind of what the road heading into that parking area looks like. And uh, so you can see it's not too bad. All right. This is what I'm talking about right here. It gets a little little rough for a, a little car like mine. See that big thing? Maybe that. Maybe I hit something like that. Because that is a rock. Man, I'm, I'm going to move that sucker. I want to hit it on my way out. A good thing I walked down the road. What I did is I just cleared all them big rocks over to the right there. So I can go to the left. Put a couple on the side. Didn't take that long. Just kicked them in. And I can get over top of that, you know. So there you go. Sometimes uh, the trip you, you think you're getting is not the one you get. How many times you heard me say that? Now you always see these signs in these remote parks. It says it closes at 8.15. Have you ever thought about why? <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm, I'm the only person back here. You know, and who's going to be back here at night anyway? And if they are, what do you care? You know, unless you think they're going to set the place on fire or vandalize it or something. But you could do that during the day. So I, I, I don't Some things in life don't make much sense. Hey, that was just that one rocky area. So, you know, if you want to bring a car down here, you could. Uh, it wasn't too bad. You're going to make it a muddy mess like I did mine. Um, so now, let's turn to get a selfie here. Whew. So now i got to peel out of all this, and i got to check it for ticks and bugs and spiders and fleas and whatever else I might have gotten on me. I don't know if I showed you the, the parking area here when I came in, but this is pretty cool. You want to come back here, maybe, I don't know what you're doing there, maybe throw a frisbee or something. I don't know why they keep that grass cut, but I assume it could be for something. One thing they could use here is a, is a bench. Boy, if I had a bench, wouldn't that be nice to help me get my shoes swapped out and peel out of these clothes? That's something uh, that parks, uh, they did, a, they had them on the trail, but they don't have them in the parking area. That don't make no doggone sense to me. All right, man car is here waiting for me time to check for bugs that's gonna take a while 
no I won't be hiking the other trail I, I will go down the road if it's not too bad and see what's down there I'm just looking here to see if there's a bench all right never mind so I want to get this on the video you know me in restrooms if you come down the road from that trail crystal trail the restrooms this is the park office and the restrooms are right here and I didn't check to see if they were open but uh, and you see you got a little picnic area here and I thought this was pretty cool we can read a little bit here uh, manatee manners while you're here in the manatee refuge please practice passive observation what does that mean passive observation is commonly observed and I you can finish that uh, Resting manatees, this is, it sounds pretty cool. During the winter months, manatees spend the majority of their time resting at the springs around Kings Bay. Resting manatees are typically found almost motionless near the water surface, partially submerged in the water column lying, in the, lying on the water bottom. They remain relatively still while resting, but make some slight movements. And then uh, Haven, Kings Bay warm water springs provides a critical winter habitat for hundreds of manatees. I'm going to sit here and read all of this. I don't want to spend a gazillion, make this video too long, but you can step, pause the video right there and read that. And then this is coming down here. The Crystal River Refuge was established in 1983 for the protection of the endangered West Indian manatee. So, and then you can pause right here and read that. And uh, this kind of shows you the picture. Of what the area looks like so uh, anyway I just thought I'd come down here so you got another little picnic table over here and uh, some under the trees I'll tell you one thing I well I did not strip out of the clothes like I talked about in the video because <laughs> because the mosquitoes were all over me and then they got in the car so now I'm, I've been out flushing the mosquitoes out of the car so they don't chew on me on the way home so all right well that's probably it. And by the way, don't don't swim with the gators.